not be surprised. It was a powerful display from the world number ones to book their place in the semi-finals. They were absolutely breathtaking in the back the semi-finals. The semi-finals, they were absolutely breathtaking in the back, back in the semi-finals. Well, it is the men's singles match that's coming your way here on court two very shortly. Lee Zijia taking on Kenta Nishimoto, looking for their first leading China Masters title. Both these men never won this tournament before. That's what's coming up shortly in the morning session. Match two, that is, as we look at the men's singles draw, you can see a variety of nations, but Japan have three representatives in Kenta Nishimoto, Kodai Naroka, and Kanta Suneyama. Nishimoto and Li Zijia locking horns very shortly, and the winner there will play either one of Zhao Junpeng or Lin Chun Yi. Lin Chun Yi, who defeated Anthony Sinesuka Ginting yesterday in the second round. And then potentially in the final await the likes of Naroka, the number three seed, or HS Pranoy, the number eight seed, or the European hopeful, the last remaining European hopeful, Christo. Popov, who had a fantastic run in this tournament as well. We see the players make their way to the court. There is Li Zijia of Malaysia. He is 25 years of age, the right-hander, ranked number 11th in the world. And uh, well, this is a matchup that we've seen numerous times on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Kenta Nishimoto. 29 now, also a right-hander, who's just ranked two spots below Lee Zijia at 13. This is their ninth meeting, as I've mentioned. We've seen them a few times, as recently as the Denmark Open a couple of months back. Uh, they played also in the quarterfinals, and Lee won that 21-18, 21-18. Before that, they played in the Japan Open in the first round, and Nishimoto came back from a game down 2022 to win 21-17, 21-19. And before that, in 23, they met at All England in the second round. And Lee Zijia won that 21-15, 21-10. In fact, in their storied rivalry, Nishimoto won the first ever meeting back in 2018 at the Asian Games Men's Team Championship. He won that in straight games. And then Lee Zijia went on to win the next five meetings before Nishimoto got that Japan Open victory this year. From Kadam, Malaysia, as I mentioned, 11th in the world is a 25-year-old. He has reached as high as number two. That was in October last year. And has a bit of a dip in form, but seems to be finding his way back to his best badminton. Beat Ang Ziyong, his compatriot, in 75 minutes, three games, 21-15, 20-22, 21-17, and then a much more dominant performance in round two against Lu Guangzhou of China, 21-10, 21-12 in 40 minutes. So has had a fairly good run in this tournament already. That will give him enough confidence 
Nishimoto from Mie Japan has enjoyed top 10 ranking previously in his career. Number nine in the world back in September of 2018. That was, but this is a rejuvenation of sorts this last couple of years. He's found some of his best badminton again. It's a win-loss record of 35 to 24 this year. But look at that, beat Priyanshu Rajawat in straight games, which was more of an expected result, but he then saw off the world champion, Kunlavad Vijitsan, the number four seed, 21-15, 21-23, 21-10 in 78 minutes. So that was an impressive victory for Nishimoto. And he is a dangerous player on his day, for sure. But they both have spent about the same amount of time on court coming into this match, so one would expect an even tie. The umpire for this match is Chu Xuyin from China. You see her there, and she'll be joined in the service judges' chair by Shan Zhihui, also from China. Now, in the quarterfinals, Li Zijia has a much stronger record He's 5-1. Uh, to one. His only loss coming at the Asian Games this year. So when he does get to the quarterfinal, it's quite a strong run for him. For Nishimoto, it's a different number altogether, 3-8. to eight. But he has won two in his last five quarterfinal Ladies appearances. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kenta Nishimoto, Japan. Nishimoto and Japan will receive as Li Zijiao will serve to get this match underway. set up for the cross court smash. Lizzy Jia gets himself on the scoreboard. Long game there. Two, Kept pushing Lizzie Jia to play one more shot. Makes a mistake. Start by Nishimoto. He knows he's got to be patient throughout this match. Lizzy Jia will be looking to be more aggressive, try to take control. And a nice net roll. Just gets that lift. 
behind. On the back end, look at that. smash gets him back on level scores impossible to return some of those smashes that come off Lizzy Jia's racket that's such a fast pace Defended. Got the back line. Nishimoto kept at it. Even though his smashes were getting absorbed, he persisted. And it paid off. The longest rally of the game so far. Nishimoto at the moment just edging ahead. Oh, that was a tight net exchange and it was getting closer and closer to the net. Eventually, Nishimoto made the mistake there. shot try to deceive Nishimoto but then misses the line Makes the error. Lizzy Jia. It's a really nice retrieving shot from Nishimoto. He held it a second longer at the net. Lizzy Jia looking to put the shuttle away. Sends it wide. Nishimoto is counting on his defensive prowess to absorb those attacks from Li Zijia, frustrate him. And then, as you can see in the final couple of rallies, it's Li Zijia who's making the mistakes because he just is not getting 
the result he wants from the big shots. And that's exactly what Nishimoto is hoping for. And with the big smash. But look at that, the follow up. Missed it completely. that Lee Zijia is playing on the better end. That too. Playing away from the drift. Mm. That's more aggressive from Nishimoto who can sense that. Has a chance here to get well ahead of Lee make it a big enough gap that Lee finds almost impossible to come back from. Six points now. And one more point and have that big lead at the break. So it is indeed Kenta Nishimoto who has played the smarter game and is rewarded for it. 11-4 out of the break. After 10 minutes of play, he's been the more tactical of the two. And has seen him open up a seven-point lead here over Lee Zijia. for the slower drop, catches Nishimoto out of position. High lift there. He finds the spot on the court. And Wang Tat Meng is a happy man. Model to take the point away from Lee Zijia. Look at that, he persisted with the net. Look how close that was. That was pretty much touching the net, rolling over. Oh, he finds the line. That's a glorious hit from Lee.
Lovely. Quick reflexes at the net and then follows it up with a nice straight down the line smash. Four point game. back again playing the clears goes long has to refocus here Lee because he made a good start after the break played a little bit more sensibly and Nishimura at the moment is controlling things that's a beautiful cross court hit from Nishimura nice smash not the fastest just clipping the line Good rally. Really nice stuff from both men. Lizija blinks fast. Shimoto here quickly has recaptured the momentum. Four straight points. Sorry, five straight points in a row. That's better. Changing direction. That might have come a little too late. Hopefully he stopped that seven-point run. So a six-point run that Nishimoto was on, just try to break the momentum a bit. Nishimoto has uh, also had a fairly successful season. He's reached two finals this year. He lost in the Hong Kong Open to Jonathan Christie in three games. But then in the Spain Masters earlier this year, he beat his teammate Kanta Suneyama in three. With Kumamoto, unfortunately, last week he lost in the first round to Shiyuchi three games and is Four. looking to bounce back from that and at the moment I have to say he's playing the better badminton oh. just misses it so touch the net on his way over shifted the shuttle's direction a little bit 
still two away from clinching the opening game. One long. Oh, that could have gone wide. But he gets on top of that point anyways. As it's nine game points here for Kenta Nishimoto. To take a big advantage over Lee Zijia. That's gone wide as well. And Lee Zijia has kind of lost his uh, footing here. Take nothing away from Kenta Nishimoto, who played a sensible game, 21-11. He takes the opener, just pushing Li Zijia to the back, trying to get him to make those mistakes. And he has taken the edge here. 21-11, 19 minutes played. Kenta Nishimoto has the advantage. Players back on court get the second game underway and uh, tell you for sure that it's not going to get any easier for Li Zijia. There is a drift. It's going from where he is at his end of the court towards Nishimoto's end. So he's going to be playing with the drift now. It'll be interesting to see whether he can rein in those errors. Lovely punch from uh, Nishimoto there. Punching it over, Li Zijia. <laughs> Li Zijia too had a first round exit at Kumamoto. He lost to Anders Antonsen in uh, straight games. He's won a title this year already at the Arctic Open, beat Ang Zee Yong in two. He was runner-up at the Denmark Open in October. He lost to Wang Hong Yang of China in two games. A pretty successful year Go! for Lee. Making his second appearance here at this tournament. Played in 2019 when it was the Fuzhou China Open and lost in the second round to Kento Momoda. Actually, he retired in the second game so it's already a better performance this time around there comes nishimoto who saw that shot a mile away and it's going to be so much harder for lee now in this second game as nishimoto's shots are going to be a lot more precise Trickery is not what he needs. One. 
at the moment, Lee Zijia, because that defensive shot was absolutely sublime. Spot on from Nishimura. While the follow-up from Lee Zijia was all but. Nishimoto making a third appearance at this 750 event. Second round exits in 2018, where he lost to Antonsen in three, and then in 2019, he lost to Cho Tian Chin in three. So this is his best showing at the tournament. was an impeccable drop shot from Lee. Non-stop, Lee Zijia. Didn't put... Sorry, didn't take his foot of the pedal there. Nishimoto giving the run around constantly in that rally. Right back in it. Zija, courtesy that net error for Nishimoto. And then he returns Five, the favor four. with a net error of his own. from Lee here is to try and play the net game more because he knows that he's playing with the drift and judging the length of his shots will definitely be harder that's in that's in fact absolutely perfectly placed between the two lines follow up to get behind Lee and find that spot. <laughs> second service error he's made in this match where it felt a bit careless. Just doesn't get the height on that low serve. to perfection. It's what he uses to get himself out of trouble a lot, Lee. Kenta Nishimoto showing off his smash skills as well. behind Lee Zijia on that smash. Makes it hard to play back.
Lizzie Jia doing well to stay within touching distance of Nishimoto. That time just punching the shuttle into the far corner. Different tactics that he's adopted in the second game straight away. You can see that he's not trying to smash his way out of these rallies. Much more thoughtful game from Lee. change of pace excellent work by Lizzie Jia he keeps at it showed great variety in his game in that rally forces the high lift at the end with that net shot to set up the cross court smash which we all know is one of his most effective shots. Longest rally we've had so far. Easy Jia for the very first time in this game has the lead. Excellent work. Nishimoto not going away without a fight. He's been so patient. Does well to set up the shots by pushing Lee to the back court. Leaves that front mid court wide open. He doesn't take a chance. He finds the line with that smash as well. Close to the net. Lizzie Jia got to it, but didn't get enough on it to go over. That's what he's so good at. His defense is absolutely on point. Absorbs the smash well and then backs it up with an aggressive shot himself. Changes the pace so quickly. And Li Zijia is left helpless there at the end. 11 9 at the break. Nishimoto a game and two points up in this quarterfinal against Li Zijia. <laughs> We've talked about the drift in this arena, but also the conditions are generally slow play. So when we talk about the more aggressive hitters like Li Zijia, who likes to get his smashes in. Time taken by the shuttle and in these conditions means that it gives the defensive players more of an edge. The controlled players. Like Nishimoto, 
of a better chance in uh, defending the smashes, prolonging the rallies. That one, a little too loose at the net. Lee, and that's now five points in a row. Once more for Nishimoto, who's coming up with a nice little run here. Look at that. He's now finding these spaces of court at will. Nishimoto. Nishimoto. seems is running out of ideas. Smashes all the time, generates a lot of pace and power. Lizzie Jia. Fairly effective, you'd say, in this match, but Mr. Nishimoto has done well to nullify that otherwise very dangerous attack. And here he comes again. Obviously, getting to Lee, that he can't play his natural game. Nishimoto has been very good in preventing that from happening. Mm -hmm. He's got the coach's approval there, Nishimoto. And again, he tried that in the first game as well, that sort of no-look backhand didn't work well then, it went wide. And he's done it again, instead handing the point over a little too easily to Nishimoto. Nakanishi, the Japanese coach, constantly in Nishimoto's ear. You see there in the corner. Both coach and player sensing there's a chance here if they can keep this cushion. Nishijiya is the one with the pressure to turn around his fortunes. Yep, pushing him to the back. And again. Go. 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 On the backhand with a smash, he is pumped up Nishimoto. Four points away from In the semi final okay, is the 29 year old. Great recovery. That's a superb rally. 
We're still going at it, and it is Lee Zijia looking for the slower drop, making that mistake, completely misjudging the length on that forehand there. And he is undoubtedly a frustrated figure. Lee, look, he goes for the slower drop, but misjudges the length on that shuttle completely. And instead, it's Nishimoto now, who's 18-12 up, three points away from a semi-final berth. Thank you. I wonder what's going on in his mind right now, Lizzie Jia. As the game surely now has gotten away from him. It will take something of a miracle to launch a comeback because Nishimoto is a quality player. Won't let this opportunity go. Now wide. Almost feels like he wants to wrap this up now. Lizzie Jia. So on that return error, it's eight match point opportunities for Kenta Nishimoto, who has played a very, very smart game here. And he wins it on a cross-court smash. Kenta Nishimoto is through to the semifinals here at the China Masters for the very first time in his career. What a performance. The world number 13 has lovely cross-court smash to finish it off. He's beaten his higher-ranked opponent fairly and squarely. Kenta Nishimoto into his fourth semi-final of 2023. He must be delighted with that. A straight games win over Lee Zijia for this man. Only his third win in nine meetings, but what a time to do it at a quarterfinal stage in a Super 750 event. His game point was ap his game plan was absolutely on point this morning. And so he is through to the semi-finals. Confirmation that it is Kenta Nishimoto who is through to the final four, 21-11, 21-12, in 40 minutes exactly. It's a Japanese who prevails.